Hello, this is Winston Parker for another Winston Tutorials on how to show Photoshop people into pictures. And so what I have here is Jackie Chan with Chris Tucker in a bad movie. Uh, and I'm going to Photoshop him over my face. This is a low-res picture and this is a very high-res picture. And um, so what I'm going to do is uh, just show you a little picture that I took uh, Photoshopped earlier with him. And uh, this is... A final product. So I went from this to this over another person's face, changed the contrast, and made it look similar to this. This is another person. And of course, I added some Karate Kid effects right here. So we go to our back to Photoshop. What we want to do first is we want to take out the picture. So we go to our lasso tool and we take out is best we can around the picture. Now for time's sake I'm going somewhat fast but you should go a little bit slower. I go edit, copy, and then I go over to our other picture that we want to paste over. This I go edit, paste, and now we have a new layer. Now because this is such a high res picture and this is so low res we have to adjust the size of this. So I do command T or if you're on a PC it's control T. Then I have the picture and I want to change it, but I want to scale it. So what I do is I hold down shift and I drag it like that. Hold down shift, drag until it's gradually smaller and smaller. And now what we have here is a face. It's perfect for our picture. Now, it may not be the perfect size, but what we, as long as we have a picture that's somewhat similar and somewhat small, it's good. So now that we have our size, we go up here and check it off, and we go to our masking tool. Now our masking tool is what makes this picture possible. Now what our masking tool does is it makes it so that our whole picture can just be the face without the white background. Now this is a little bit easier uh, if we go to our multiply button all the way over here above layers, and what happens is his face blends in. That, the problem is it blends in. So while it does uh, go great against a wall or something, but when we have a picture, we don't want to do that. So we have to change it to back to normal. So that's a fun little trick to do if you're just against a wall. It saves you a lot of time. So what we do is we go to our masking tool. We have our masking layer here. We take our paintbrush and we make sure the first color is black, the bottom color is white. If it's not, switch it. Then we go up to the person and we have to change our paintbrush so that it's just big enough to go around and what this will do is it erases the white part and just has the background left so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just going to go quickly around his face for time's sake and just outline him now you should use a smaller brush go pixel by pixel normally but because this is only going to be a short video I want to do this fast and get it done with I'm outlining them so that's easier when I go to get rid of the whole thing. This is kind of the same with a real paintbrush. You want to do a, a thin little uh, outline around your target, such as a window, then you paint with big strokes. So now I've got a nice little outline of him, and I can make our, my brush a little bit bigger. So the problem with this is it makes the anything inside the circle disappears, but anything around the circle kind of uh, uh, gets a little softer. And by this, it just, uh, the color fades a little bit more, but the color is still there. So you want to make sure you get what you want out uh, with, um, in the center of the circle. So I'm completely just erasing this around, and this is somewhat of a sloppy job, but this is just for time's sake, and I'm getting out his face. I'm getting everything out of his face. And now that I have just his face left and a little bit of the white because of time's sake. I can take this and move his face around. Now that I'm out of the masking tool, I like to go back to this layer and just highlight the layer. Now I zoom out, I just have this picture. Because I just want the face, I am going to go back into the masking tool, take the paintbrush, and get rid of this bottom part. I am being a little sloppy here, but that's just so we can hurry this video up. <laughs> so now I have the face. What I do then is Command T again and Shift proportionally. 
So now I have this, this great face right here on top of another good one. And um, I can shift this any way that I wish. Now, because his head is tilted a little bit, we do want to turn that. And to turn it, we go to Command T, and we go to the bottom here, and we can turn it like that. So now his face is centered, is perfect, and the only thing left to do is to make it look a little bit more human uh, with the rest of the body. So I do want to mask it a little bit more so I can get some of the neck in. And the problem with this picture is it's very um, bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. And we can change the brightness by dimming it down, but that just kind of changes the outlines. And that is because we're in the masking layer. So we go back to the normal layer, go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, and we can dim it down. But the problem is it makes it a little bit darker. So what we want to do is we want to go to Contrast. Because of contrast, we can reduce that down a lot, drag it down, and it blends in a little bit more with the picture. Now, because the picture is still uh, not in the contrast zone, we go to Background, Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, and we raise that contrast. Or we diminish the contrast. But the perfect blend is right there. Go to Brightness, change it up. Brightness, change it down. Now, because this head is the size that it is, and because the head is a certain color, we are having some trouble changing it up. So, when you pick your picture, make sure you pick a nice and detailed, but you want a picture that's somewhat the same color. You want two high res pictures, and then you want a great finished product. This right here, for time's sake, has been a little sloppy, but it gets the point across. And now you know how to Photoshop in pictures into other ones. Thank you.